We are only a few days away from Halloween, and if you're anything like me, the more decorations, the better. So today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a quick and easy last minute design idea for some outdoor Halloween decorations. I was cruising around on Etsy looking for some last minute design inspiration for my family's trick or treat setup. And I found these adorable wooden ghosts. I thought they were super cute and would actually be pretty easy to 3D print. All I needed was a reference image and I could get right to work. I jumped right into Onshape and I got the design cooking. The design process was fairly simple. I started out by bringing in my reference image, tracing the outline using a Bezier curve, extruding the sketch to create the ghost body, mirrored a couple ellipses for the eyes, cut those out, and the ghost body was done. The next task was creating a stake and a way to attach it to the back of the ghost. The stake was easy. A simple rectangle with a pointy end did the job. Next, to create the attachment. I made a couple simple rectangles, extruded them, used the boolean subtract feature to create the insert, added a quick fillet to the edges just for looks, and it was ready to print. And it's a nice quick little last minute outdoor Halloween decoration. You can print six or seven of these and line your patio for trick or treaters to come up or hide them in the bushes next to your plants. You can print it large. I'm using my H2 to print some of these a little bit larger, lots of options, but a fun little Halloween decoration. If you're interested in seeing the full tutorial, that is available over on my Patreon along with the files from this video. But now that the design is finished, let's get to printing. I decided to print the ghost body in Polymaker's HT PLA just to give them a bit more strength and heat resistance since they are going to be outside. Now, fall is not the most warm climate around here, but just to be safe. And I printed the stake in Pet G just to give it a little bit of extra strength. You could print the entire design in PLA or Pet G or HT PLA or whatever you like, this is just what I decided to go with for my initial design. You guys, look how good this turned out. I love it. This turned out amazing. I'm so happy. It's so simple, but it's exactly what I wanted it to look like. I love it. Now, this specific ghost is gonna be a personal project for me and my family and our Halloween trick-or-treat setup but it would make a really good product for my Etsy shop. And while we're talking about my Etsy shop, let's take a minute and talk about Relay, the sponsor of today's video. Relay is an online business banking and money management platform built to help small businesses take control of their finances. Getting a grasp of my finances is what helped me turn my 3D printing side hustle into an actual business. What helped me the most was organization. Relay allows you to open up to 20 different checking accounts so you can separate all of your expenses. I make sure I have a category for rent, shipping materials, printer maintenance, filament, and even my own personal income. Budgeting for my expenses has been a total game changer. Another key factor for me is that Relay integrates directly with QuickBooks. Now, I'm no tax expert, so I need this to be incredibly easy. And with Relay, it is. I also hate keeping up with receipts. Luckily, Relay lets you take a picture of your receipt and store it right there in the platform so you have proof of purchase whenever you need it. So if you decide to give Relay a try, scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in my description to create your account today. Thank you to Relay for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's get started on design number two. Okay, we're ready for design number two. And it's basically gonna be the same process as design number one, except this time it might be multicolor. To start out, we'll bring in a reference image and trace it using a Bezier curve. Extrude it five millimeters and the candy corn shape is good to go. Next, to divide for the individual colors, I started a new sketch. Drew some simple arcs to create the three sections, extruded each of those one millimeter and the candy corn was done. I followed the same steps as before for the stake and the connections on the back. Again, the full tutorial is on Patreon if you're curious. And our candy corn steak is done too, and I love it. That's it, that's design number two. Now let's get to printing.
The candy corn sign oh, came out you. perfect. It is exactly the vibe that I was going for for this style of design. I think this is gonna look very good outside my family's house for our Halloween trick-or-treat setup. I love it, I'm very excited. And the steak slides in perfectly. It does exactly what I was hoping it would do. It seems strong enough to hold it up during any wind or weather or whatever. And there's plenty of excess space down here at the bottom for it to go in the ground and do its job. I'm very happy with how the design turned out. So this one's good. The ghost is good. And I think I've got this design style figured out. Maybe not mastered, but good enough to leave this where it's at for now. I've got some ideas for some Thanksgiving designs and even some Christmas designs so I can keep this outdoor sign type design theme going into the Christmas and Thanksgiving holidays. But for this video, I think I still need one more design and I don't want to use this style. I want to do something a little bit different and I also kind of want to get away from like specifically Halloween because we're two days away from Halloween at this point and you guys probably don't need any more Halloween designs. So I want to do something more fall themed, something that we could carry into mid-November, maybe even all the way to Thanksgiving. And I think I have just the idea. Let's head to the computer. My third and final design is going to be based on this concept, if I can make it work. These are made from wood and obviously plastic does not look like wood, but I'm hoping I can pull this off. For this design, I started out by creating the shape I wanted for the main body of the pumpkin. The corners were shaved off at an angle, which I made 50 degrees, so they wouldn't have any issues when printing. Once I had a shape I liked, I extruded it and the pumpkin body was formed. Next, I needed to make the notches to resemble the wood paneling. I made a sketch on top of the box, added some trapezoid type shapes that I could then cut out using the loft feature. Then I started on the stem. I made a circle on top of the pumpkin and added a plane 30 to 40 millimeters up from that. I drew another circle a bit larger on that plane and then used the loft feature again to connect them. All that was left to do now was add some chamfers to clean everything up. Okay. Maybe it looks like a pumpkin. I don't know. It looks kind of like the design I was going for. I'm going to try to print it, I guess, and see if I like it. I don't know. It was worth a shot. Finally, the last Pumpkin has finished printing the small army green, I believe, filament on this one. But now that this one is done, it's time to put these on display and see all of our work come to life. All right, I think they look so good. Oh, I love them. So unfortunately, I picked the rainiest day of this whole fall season so far to set these up outside, but we got it done. Either way, I think these turned out amazing and that's not really their final resting place. I'm gonna take them to my parents on Halloween and line their walkway with them, but I don't have a walkway, so that's what we get for the video. But we got to see a good look at the outdoor decorations. Now, the pumpkins set up and they look exactly like I wanted them to. They look just like the wooden pumpkins that I took inspiration from for this project. I am so happy with the way that those turned out. And I'll be able to leave those out going into the fall season, November. I think they are perfect and I'm very excited for them. All the files from this video will be available on my Patreon and my things, and I'll make sure the files are for free on my things at least through the end of October so that you guys can grab these before Halloween gets here and print them because they're super fast, two or three hours, and if you're just leaving them out for Halloween night, PLA will work just fine. But that's all we've got for this video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed these last minute design ideas that I threw your way. I have lots of ideas going into November and December, and I'm excited to take this design inspiration and motivation that I've got right now moving forward. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon members for supporting me. I could do none of this without you guys. You're amazing. That's all we've got. Hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Go trick-or-treating, trunk-or-treating, spend time with family. Happy Halloween. I'll see you guys in the next video.